Hi everyone. Today is December the 8th. It's the 8th day of Vlogmas and we're going along okay. Today was our nat normal go get groceries day and of course Jane was up at like 5.30 this morning. So I'm ready for a nice nap. It's about the 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm having some hot tea. This is in my mug that I got from physical therapy when I graduated. And this tea I found today. And it is called eggnoggin. And it has a real nice eggnog flavor um, without the heavy of the cream and the egg and you know the whole nine yards but you get that nice flavor in the tea um, it from the looks of it it looks like it's a blend of black tea and green tea and of course it's by Bigelow I've never seen this before saw it and thought I'm gonna get some and I also saw a couple other ones I would like to try so um, but I didn't purchase them We'll be getting them next week. Hopefully they'll still have some. But they look delicious. I have two finished objects. I just can't show you it to them. Show you them. Because they are a test pattern. It's the same pattern done in two different yards. Uh, it was a test pattern done for Lacey of Hooked on Owls. And when she approves the... Uh, the showing of the items, I will commence to show the items. <laughs> Did get a couple of things while we were out. Had to get some backing <clears throat> for a queen size quilt. And then I saw this magazine and I thought, oh, that elf is cute. But this is the piece de resistance for me. And I can't get it open. More than one way to skin a cat. Cat skinned. Was this sweater. I like this, the looks of this sweater. I like the way they did the neckline. And of course there's a couple of other sweaters. And these go up to from size 8 to 22. So, uh, yeah. It's uh, Simply Crochet, issue 77. And it's got a couple of little cute uh, Christmas makes in it. And of course it's got some deer antlers right there on the very front. Look at that hat. Come on, isn't that cute? So. That was one. They had the everyday premiere yarn on sale again today at Joann's and I needed this for a project and uh, it'll go to make some more baby hats as well with some other DK weights but I needed something that was in the number three or DK weight. So I got this and that is basically it you know um, I had planned on getting um, a steel crochet hook but all they had was the full set I don't want the full set just want one. Oh well now I have a little problem you know I know Z works for the mail and she delivers mail and I think, you know, mail carriers this time of year, it's exceptionally hard on them because of all the packages, the extra mail. I understand that. What I don't understand is why the postal office will not hire additional people to help out during this season instead of pressuring workers. The problem I have is several times this week I've had items 
that were due on a certain day and one of those items this from Claudia Happy Mail was mailed out by Claudia November the 28th it sat in San Diego until December the 4th when it started moving and it was supposed to have come Wednesday afternoon because it had already arrived in my post office and it was out for delivery. No, not Wednesday, Thursday afternoon. Well, there was a notice left saying that it could not be delivered to the area because they couldn't access the mailbox. Well, this is my problem with that. See that silver box right there? That's behind the green one. That's our mailbox. For some reason, post office claimed they couldn't access the mailbox. As you can see, there's nothing impeding it. They've been known to park in this alley anyway to deliver mail. And plus the carrier was carrying it in the shoulder bag around. But it was a temporary or a part-timer. So he got lazy and ended the route. Didn't deliver any mail whatsoever to this unit. Ridiculous. You can see there's nothing to block that mail box at all. Um, my husband had the same message for something that was supposed to come Monday. Didn't show up till Tuesday. Same exact message. Unable to access the mailbox. The problem I have with that is on Thursday afternoon I had asked my neighbor if they had gotten any mail because it's highly unusual for us to not get mail. And the little boy that lives next door said, No, Mama Jane, no mail came. I said, What do you mean, no mail came? I saw the carrier walk through the apartment complex, didn't even stop at the box, kept going. I said, Well, was it the lady that normally delivers? Oh, no, it was some man. So, Apparently, one of the part-timers chose to keep walking. I would prefer that when you go in there, there's a message that says, I'm overwhelmed, way too much work. I decided to just go home and call it a day, rather than you can't access the mailbox. Little rant. Anyway. Let me pull out what I got. I had ordered two pins. And you know, this isn't Claudia's fault that it took so long to get to me. But you know, it's still kind of annoying. Got this pin. Oops. It's upside down. This pin. Because I thought it was cute. And you know, she always adds a little um, tea bag. So there's the, it's an organic mango, I think. Yep. And then I also got this pin. And it came with a Holiday Berry. I've never seen this anywhere. Um, we do have a grocery store here called Wise Grocery Store. And they do carry a lot of the Twinings, um, Stash, 
in quite a few different teas. So I will be stopping there to see if um, that is, you know, one of those teas is there. But, um, yeah, I was kind of perturbed about that. You know, November the 28th to the 7th. That's an awful long time. Especially when it sat in San Diego so long. And then uh, I realized my Nick Crate is not here. I had ordered some extra items from Nick Crate. And it wasn't here, so I went back to look at the date. You know, because it's supposedly already shipped. Shipped 29th. But when I go to track it, it says it hasn't even gotten to the post office yet. I don't know if Nick Crate is using a new mail service or what, but you know, that's kind of annoying. Um, I have sent a message asking what's going on, you know, because generally when I get that email that says it's on its way, it's generally two to three days, four at the tops if there's a holiday in there somewhere. And there's a day the post office is closed. So, you know, it's like, what's going on? Those kind of things. And it may be something totally out of their control. You know, I don't know. Um, so I have sent an email asking them, you know, what's up with that? <laughs> oh, it gets, you know, it gets annoying. Um, and I was talking with my one friend about it. And she was telling me, she she said, well, you know, by law, they're not supposed to take the money out until the day they ship it when it's online ordering. I said, well, I'm pretty sure the rules have been changed because Nick Crate takes the money out and then they may not ship it for two, three, four weeks. Darn good yarn used to take it out. You may not see it for another three or four weeks. So... Apparently those laws are no longer on the books, or we just, nobody says anything and nothing happens. So that's my little rant. I know they're worked, overworked, uh, UPS, FedEx, the uh, same thing, you know, this time of year, it's, it's hard on those folks. And I know that uh, retail people are... overworked this time of season but I have a friend who was thrown out of Joann's last night this particular Joann's is one this is one my husband does not like to go to it's in Williamsport Pennsylvania because it's it's just a horrible one it's the one where I told you you have to take a number and then they've got that little number up there and they call the number and if, I mean, they don't call your name, they just call the number and they give them five minutes to come to the cutting table, but they won't cut your items while you're standing there when they could have already cut the one or two items you had and you could be on your merry way. You've got to wait until your number comes up. And the store is not big. It's a small store. It's smaller than the one in State College. So there's no excuse for that. Um, but the staff there is always kind of hostile. And there was a young lady last night. and You know, normally, our, um, when I've been in State College late at night when it's getting ready to close, they will announce over the intercom about 8.30, They'll tell you that if you have anything that needs to be cut, come to the cutting table because they won't cut after, I think it's 8.55. Um, they will not cut anything else. My friend had taken some things up to this counter to get cut and the woman told her, we can't cut anything after 8.50. And refused to cut the items for. 
Well, there was a remnant there that hadn't been marked yet, and my friend was interested in it, so she asked how much it was. The woman snapped at her, it's ninety nine. Well, then when she finally got the tag that went around it, it was seven ninety nine. And my friend said, well, you know, you told me it was ninety nine. I think you should give it to me for ninety nine." And the woman said, I can't do that, which is fine. So my friend goes up to the cash, cash register. There's a gentleman checking people out. And when she got up to the cash register, the woman from the cutting table come running up, told the fellow to go back to the cutting table. I'm thinking, if you can't cut after 850, why do you have to be at the cutting table? But then she proceeded, as my friend was putting her things up on the counter, to tell her, there's no reason for you to put anything else on here, up here. We're closed to you. Then she was picking up those items and throwing them at my friend. Throwing them at a customer. And I'm like, wow. What kind of behavior is that? So we kind of chit-chatted about it. And I was telling my husband about it. And my husband said, were any of her tattoos showing? Because she's ex-military. I said, I don't know. She's got one that when you see it, you know that she's ex-military. I said, I don't know if she had it covered up or not. And he goes, you know, there are some people that act that way towards people who are military. And I said, yeah, but that's, you don't do that to any customer, you know? So, I don't know. That store has some issues. Um, however, she did complain to corporate, and I hope they get things sorted out for her. Like I told her, she should have told them you need to give me a $50 gift card. <laughs> free merchandise on the house because of that behavior. I'm thinking, well, maybe not. Maybe maybe something in the way that she said, I think you should give it to me for that price, was the last straw for this woman for that day. Who knows? Even when you think you're not being unkind to people, sometimes they take it the wrong way. Um, perhaps they just didn't like the looks of you. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, it's been a crazy weekend so far. That's it for today's podcast, with the exception of the angel. And this angel is called a bell angel. She does have bells. She's a very simple angel to do. Takes just a few minutes. Um... I know, I believe it was Dana had mentioned she's tried to do some of these angels and doesn't know where to attach the wings. Hey, Dana, many times when I can't tell where they exactly want me to attach the wing, I will attach it just under the neck because that, that always seems to work. So, you know, if you're having issues with nothing understanding where the pattern tells you to attach the wings, you might consider doing that instead. All right, I'll see you again tomorrow.